environments and legislative environments uh, when it comes to the managing the macroeconomic system. And on top of that, when the crisis in the world came, we had a very healthy financial system. We had a very healthy banking system and still Turkish banks are among the highest uh, capitalization ratios in the world, strong capital uh, structures, uh, and the growing market, of course. So that, uh, and we, our government, during the crisis has been criticized for not giving enough incentive during the crisis period. It was criticized by the industry. To a certain extent, it was right. So the incentives during the crisis were given, and the first six months or so, in the first when the crisis started, we also went to minus, don't forget. That year, we also was a minus growth. And, the, and then recovered. But uh, the, the financial discipline is very crucial, is the heart of this uh, success factor. But now, now we are at a stage we should not be overconfident. It is always dangerous to be overconfident when it comes to the economic performance. Where, where do you see the danger? We should be sensitive. We have a current account deficit problem. Turkey is a net importer of energy. We are blessed with our neighbors who have uh, the oil and the gas, as I said. We are a transit country for that, but we don't have our own gas and oil. So we are a we are seriously affected with the uh, price levels of the oil and the gas. And, uh, and of course, when you are a growing country, your requirements are also growing in that sense. So we should be sensitive on that. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, there, is, uh, there is still reforms that needs to be done, of course. Now we are in a stage of waiting for our new government to be formed. And I'm sure as soon as they are formed, they will look into it. Turkey has, in, a, in the coming months, will, I think, has to focus on more micro. Now we have done, we are at a very good level of the macroeconomics, but we need to do some reforms on the micro level. Uh, and I'm sure uh, we had a very capable economy management, and I'm sure we will have a game uh, that will not. They know, the, they know the situation, they follow the situation very well and very closely. So uh, we're expecting them uh, to do the microeconomic reforms going forward. In your uh, cooperation with uh, Stiftung Mercato, you will um, focus on, on both. You will focus on uh, economic, but uh, then, then also energy questions related mm -hmm. to that and environmental questions, um, which that will be a special focus. Um, and, and actually, I, I see that uh, in, in, in Turkey, for instance, rapid growth uh, takes its toll. Um, I, I, I see parts of forests being uprooted, neighborhood destroyed and by, by new huge building. And so uh, the space for living and the space for recreation in cities is, is changing at a very fast pace. And um, I, I just wonder what do you think what can be done to protect the environment uh, in, in this rapidly growing economy and also what can be the contribution again of foundations to um, raise attention for, for this, this problem? Well, this is a, 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 a dilemma of, of the world, of, of especially progressing and developing countries like ours. One hand, the progress, the young population, the requirements and the pressures of progress. 
and on the other hand, the responsibilities for the sustainable world that we all live in. It's not only for our country, but we, our responsibility is now also global. We have global responsibilities when it comes to the issue of uh, climate change and energy. And this is a dilemma, uh, but we need to find an acceptable balance, <laughs> but more than an acceptable balance now. We need to find, put our uh, glasses of sustainability more in front of us without really hindering the requirements of the young population and the expectations of these young people growing up needing all those uh, what world has to uh, offer to them. So this is a, and this is where exactly where Istanbul Policy Center and Mercator Foundation together. We need brains, we need great minds coming together and finding solutions, bringing us new solutions. It is obvious that with the past uh, methods and past solutions are not working. So going forward, we need new ideas. We need innovative ideas. We need serious, objective research uh, to address these questions. Germany and Turkey have uh, one thing in common. We both depend very much on Russian gas. Um, uh, in Germany, it's about 40% of gas consumption. In, in Turkey, it goes up to 70%. Um, and uh, gas, of course, has the advantage of being relatively environmentally friendly. Yes. Um, as far as uh, yes, but climate and then change the gases are concerned. To the Russia. But the, the high dependency is a problem. So what would you say? What are the, the sources of, the desirable sources of energy? Well, first Turkey of all, we all know, we all know, I know the German companies, great German companies are also working. I just read it when I was coming on. Uh, that uh, you know, all these German serious uh, companies are working seriously on increasing the uh, renewable energy resources. We also, in my country also, we need to tap on more and more on the renewable energy resources. But then again, I also see that your country also, around 40%, I think you meant as to coal, uh, and in my country also more than 50%, Coal. So, but, and we have the sources, we have the resources. So there is no way that in my country, even if we tap all the resources of the renewable energy, we would still need to use our coal. So there is also, again, we come to this issue of, of uh, balancing and having an acceptable portfolio when it comes to energy. And going forward, in energy, there is the issue of, of course, security, which is a serious issue, and then the balance of the portfolio. And of course, the, uh, there comes with that the uh, sustainability uh, of the, uh, our planet. Uh, and here, again, uh, in, in Sabanji University, uh, with parallel to the Istanbul Policy Center, we are planning, we are on the way of going into a climate and climate change and energy center, which is going to be working together with Mercator on these issues also. The Turkish government. But you also mentioned, I'm sorry to cut your word, but these are, as I said in my speech, these are serious areas, which is where two countries can work together, not only Mercator and uh, uh, Istanbul Policy Center, but Germany and Turkey being members of the G20, where most of these issues needs to be addressed in G20 because they are global issues. There we can work together. 
it's of course sometimes hard to, to get to an agreement even within the EU there is for example a strong disagreement over the use of uh, nuclear power and um, as you know Germany has just uh, decided to on a phase out of uh, nuclear power um, in the coming years and um, as a matter of fact all of a sudden after the Fukushima catastrophe we happen to have five green parties in, in our federal parliament. Um, but um, in, in Turkey the situation is a bit different. I recently heard the uh, Minister of, of uh, the, the Vice Prime Minister responsible for economy, Babajan, saying we need to go into this phase, we need to tap into nuclear energy, it is inevitable. What do you think? Should, should Turkey, Turkey do so or should it skip the age of nuclear technology because it's just starting to date? Well, first of all, it is, uh, well, I wish that there was another solution. But it looks like the numbers are showing such that in the world, uh, OECD studies are showing that, I, I am told, even if the world tries to tap all the renewable resources in the world, still it's not enough. So there is an inevitable need for nuclear energy and of course countries have different views on that that is acceptable that is understandable uh, when we come to my country uh, but there's one thing after Fukushima is that is very clear 